Hello everybody, it is uh, Navy Boy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how I produce my videos. Um, you know, these tips are pretty good to pass around. There are a lot of people out there that want to make videos like me, but straight up don't know how. Um, you know, the, it's rather complicated. <laughs> um, and one of the things I've really noticed over the years of making videos is that the way I make videos usually changes because I'll usually either find a better method or I'll supplant one method with another. And, um, yeah, so let's just get into the, uh, the first method, which is recording PC titles. Now, re recording PC games is fairly simple for the most part. Um, there's an application called Fraps. It's F. <laughs> it's F R A P S. It's it's a pretty simple program. It uh, if if uh, if an application if if Fraps detects the application, it'll uh, tell you the frame rate of the game, which is that's one of the main purposes of of Fraps is telling you frame rates. It also takes screenshots and records videos. Now, when you record videos, there's also an option for it to record your microphone while it's recording the gameplay and stuff. So that's really simple. If you set up your microphone and you go into the game and turn down the uh, audio, because usually the audio is like, it puts the audio mix at 50-50, your voice to the game audio, and usually the game audio is a lot, lot, a lot louder. Um, so usually you have to set, turn down the game audio a little bit, but besides for that, it's it's really simple. You click on one button and you're going. Um, for flash games and stuff, get like some kind of screen recorder. Um, another one I use is called uh, Camstasia Recorder. Um, Camstia. I don't even how. I don't even know how you pronounce that, but yeah, I, I use that. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, I was gonna spell it C A M T A S I A. Um, so yeah, just look up that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. F I mean, Camstasia, like I said, works in almost the exact same. I didn't say that, but it, it does work like basically the same way. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, straightforward uh, for PC titles. Now, when you're recording off a console, there it really opens up a whole new ballpark. It, there's s so many ways to do it. First of all, and uh, every single one of those ways is very hard <laughs> for the most part. Um, it's the only really method I know that's not hard is fairly simple. So if you have a microphone plugged into your computer and you have a cap, if you have a um, some kind of you know capture device for your consoles, this method's pretty simple. You just record the gameplay like you would normally, and then you open up uh, a program like Audacity, which is a sound recorder. You, you plug in your microphone, record your uh, your voice through that, and then later on you sync up your voice with the game audio. It's simple, but it's not dummy proof at all. Uh, if you don't know how to sync it up properly, you know just just being off by like a second will just completely destroy the quality of the video in some cases it depends I think in there's some cases where if you don't get it synced up properly like it, even if you're off by like half a second in the beginning like by the end of the video it'll be off by like minutes if you don't sync it up properly um, I, it can, if you're talking about longer videos like the ones I make that's the kind of thing you gotta look for uh, or you know that's the thing you gotta worry about so yeah let's get into the way finally now how I do my videos because it's very, very, fairly complicated. I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna use uh, illustrations to kind of help my point. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so what you see on the screen right now is pretty simple. Six items. You see, I have my uh, my TV, which that's what I play my games on. Uh, my consoles. I just use a 360 just for illustration uh, purposes. Uh, a PC, just a normal PC, nothing really special about it. I have my MacBook, which I mean, you don't have to have a MacBook, but it's you need some uh, you need an, another computer. Let's just say that you, you probably are going to have to have two different computers of some sort to do this. And then lastly, you see, uh, or not lastly, but you see my microphone up there next to the MacBook, and then down the middle, you see I have my uh, Hava, which is my capture card. Now, any capture card will work with this. It's not that big of a deal. I recommend you have a uh, capture card that records and component. 
which component the video signal is sent across three RCA wires that are red, blue, and green. These are the main three, uh, you know, aspects of the video. And for the most part, the video is we don't change the video at all. The main thing that I change is the audio. So I, most of the other stuff you're going to see here that I put in uh, is mostly just the audio. Okay, so yeah, let's just get into the next step here. Alright, so you definitely see some new items here. So the new items, the, ma the main ones, or I guess I might as well just say they're all main, but um, there's three new items here in the middle. So you have a splitter and uh, an audio mixer and a router. So obviously also you see some connections being made here. So the first connection you'll see is the from the 360 to the splitter. So what the splitter is, is it's a device that you can plug multiple inputs into, but then have one output. So in this scenario here you're seeing I only have one console so you don't really need the splitter but if you have multiple consoles like myself you want to be recording PS3 and 360 and Wii or whatever you need a splitter if you don't want to have to unplug and replug in all the cables every time you record a different system also same thing for playing them you'd have to do the same thing if you want to play them um, so yeah so the splitter I have all three of my consoles plugged into that and then there's one output but what you see there are two outputs from the splitter. One is just the uh, the uh, audio. So just the audio, the gameplay audio, that's it. The other one is just the video. So they're completely different. They're not inter inter uh, you know tangled at all. It's just the audio coming out one cable, the video coming out the other cable um, or connection. There, you know the video is actually three cables and the audio is two cables. But yeah, the, so you see two connections going out from there. Now the audio of the game goes directly into my audio mixer, and the audio mixer allows me to adjust levels. So. I can turn down the uh, game audio if it's louder than my voice, or I can turn up my voice, or I can turn down my voice. I can do whatever. I can mix and match the different um, audio signals. So I have the audio coming in from the splitter into the audio mixer. That's just the pure game audio. And then you're going to see that I have the mic plugged into my MacBook, and then the, the uh, MacBook sends out the, my voice out of that into the audio mixer. So now the audio mixer has two cables coming into it, basically. My, my voice and the game audio. So that's all it has right now. So then you see the, um, the router. The router is instrumental because my capture card works like that. My capture card works using a router. I have to have an Ethernet cable from the Hava into my router, and then an Ethernet cable, of course, from my router to my PC. That's how they connect. So that's just showing that connection right there. All right, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so in the final step, or not the final step, but getting very close to it, we see two new devices here. They're basically both the same device, though. So you see the headphone receiver and the headphones for the headphone receiver. So I have Turtle Beaches. I think they're like... I don't even know what number, I think they're like, they were, they're wireless and they're like probably, I guess they were the best ones at the time that I bought them. I think they have a four in the number, I don't really know. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. And you can see the connection between the splitter and the audio mixer is changed here. Uh, the, after going from the splitter, the cable actually, I have, I have a splitter in between the audio mixer and uh, the the cable that allows it to go to two different directions the splitter sends the audio not only to the audio mixer but to the headphone receiver so I can't have my TV you know I can't have the audio coming out of my TV if I want to uh, record a video because then you know you be able to hear it in the background noise so I hear all my audio through a pair of headphones so you guys can't hear the game audio coming through my microphone so the game audio is directly pumped into my headphones and I can hear it that way the game audio is also directed in the audio mixer where then it gets mixed with my voice from my MacBook so while that's all going it goes into my audio mixer and then you see the final audio connection out of my audio mixer into the Hava so yes the Hava has five cables plugged into it now as you see, or, or no it should have three actually my bad um, 
So you see that it has the final audio going into it and the video from the splitter. So that's, I mean, that right there is the full video. You are seeing the entire, um, all the video, obviously, because I can't, like, cut out video. But And then also you're hearing the final uh, audio sound, so my voice with the game audio mixed properly. So, yeah, the Hava has the full signal. It's connected to the PC. We're all good there. Um, yes, so now let's go on to the next step where we will complete everything. Okay, so now we have all the devices laid out. Now all the connections are now filled in and you can finally see the exact way it works. It all comes together. So let's just do a full summary of what happens really quick. It's pretty simple. So the, the gameplay is coming from the 360 and going into my splitter. Now the splitter is receiving the full video and the full audio. So that that's that. It's receiving everything everything from the game. It's receiving the complete audio, the complete video. The splitter then actually does physically split between the video which directly pipes into the Hava, which is my capture card, and then the audio goes into my audio mixer and to my headphone receiver. So, as you can see, there is the head the headphones is what I hear and it pumps directly into that pure game audio. I don't hear my voice whatsoever. And now the audio from the game also goes into the audio mixer where it's ready to be intermingled with my voice. So I speak into the microphone next to the MacBook, which is, the microphone is plugged into the MacBook, and then the MacBook pipes out my voice into the audio mixer. In the audio mixer, it gets intermingled with the audio of the game. Both of those are intermingled and mixed, and you know it sounds good, so you can hear my voice, but you can also hear the game. And then that pipes out into one connection from the final. Uh, from it pipes out into the Hava directly. So the voice and the game intermingled pipes out into the Hava directly. Now, the PC, the purpose of it is just to record. It has a large hard drive. It records all everything it records the final video file that you guys receive so it, it is piping it over my network of through my router my Hava is plugged into my router and the signal of the Hava goes over the my network connection through through the router into my PC where my PC records it using the software provided with my Hava now the Hava then has two cables finally coming out of it which are the new two the new cables um, these are the direct audio and the uh, final audio. These both go to the, to the TV. So this is com the complete video and the complete audio, com including my voice. So that's why I don't listen through the audio through my TV or whatever. And I just, in fact, listen to it through the headphones and I watch the TV for the, uh, for the gameplay. But I still have the audio going to it anyways. And that actually, in fact, this is kind of a little bit mistaken because the audio now, instead of going directly to my TV, actually goes to my surround sound system. But uh, I don't, you know, just for simplicity's sake, I don't include that on here because uh, I don't listen to the surround sound when I'm playing either because my voice is also coming through it. So, yeah. And in the final step here, I will kind of sum it up a little better. Alright, so you should understand all the intricate ways that my voice and the game and all that have to intermingle and get put out to my PC. So here's just three final little things I want to talk about. So what I'm watching when I'm playing my game is on my TV. That's what I see. What I hear is piped through my headphones. So I'm watching on my TV and I'm hearing through the headphones. I speak into the microphone and that goes through the MacBook. So yeah, that's basically it. I, if you wanted to know, that's basically it. I mean, this this design here has evolved so much <laughs> over the years. Um, how I've changed it intricately, just tiny little changes here and there. Um, it has become this huge network that I actually have to keep a diagram of if I ever have to uh, reconfigure it up. Because literally, well, I think I don't have to do that now, but. 
for instance, I reorganized my room, and that included me unplugging everything and like putting it in a bunch of boxes. And when I got them all out of boxes, I had no idea what to do, and I had to figure it out all over again. So that's why now I have a diagram. So in case I ever forget, then I know. So yeah, that that's basically it. I just wanted to finally give that out for you guys if you wanted to know if you were curious now you guys all know <laughs> what I have to go through to record a stinking video for you guys so yeah um, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time